Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan. In this video, we will understand what is ASP.NET Ajax client centric programming model and what are the changes made to the toolkit. It is very easy to understand ASP.NET Ajax client centric programming model. Browser sends a request to the web server requesting ASP.NET application. Whenever the page has been requested, the web server returns the initial rendering that is the UI and behavior which consists of the presentation such as HTML and CSS, UI behavior such as JavaScript and service process as the response. Whenever an action takes place at the web page, then the required data will be passed to the ASP.NET application and once the processing is completed, it returns the data back as the response. So what is the advantage of using client-centric Ajax web development means? After you install Ajax control toolkit, one can leverage the full power of script or DHTML. And also, it provides a rich and more interactive user experiences. If you have used the toolkit in the past, you also know that for quite some time, the project was poorly supported. With an ever-growing list of critical issues, and seeing the demand for such a library and considering its current state, DevExpress approached Microsoft and suggested that they will help bringing the toolkit back into a dependable and usable state. Needless to say, Microsoft agreed to that. The good news is that since DevExpress took on this responsibility, they have managed to provide clean the code base introduced improved Visual Studio support and fixed nearly 900 bucks. Let us now understand what are the new features that are introduced in version 15.1 powered by DevExpress. We have a new installation express. DevExpress has redesigned and created an improved ASP.NET Ajax control toolkit installer that leverages Visual Studio extensibility features. The new installer automatically registers the ASP.NET Ajax control toolkit components into the toolbox of all available Visual Studio.NET versions. You don't have to add it separately. The other feature we have a single binary. The previous version of ASP.NET Ajax control toolkit releases provided different assemblies for each .NET version. Starting with version 15.1, we built a single assembly. But one important point we need to remember, now the support for .NET 3.5 has been dropped by Ajax Toolkit. The next feature we have is dependency cleanup. In the previous ASP.NET Ajax Control Toolkit assembly, we are now free from external dependencies. Now we don't have to no longer depend on Ajax min or HTML agility package or Windows Azure. All functionality depending on third party packages has been extracted to separate packages. ASP.NET Ajax control toolkit static resources, ASP.NET Ajax control toolkit sanitizer, etc. One of the most important feature that has been introduced is ASP.NET Web Optimization Framework for JavaScript and CSS bundling and minification. The outdated custom resource bundling and minification mechanism causing the dependency on Toolkit Script Manager has been replaced with a modern and a better approach using the ASP.NET Web Optimizer frameworks. Now, the new toolkit can be easily used with the latest standard Visual Studio web project templates. Therefore, it works with Bootstrap and also works in modern HTML5 browsers.
Dev Express people have worked hard to clean and add a structure to the entire source code tree. Unused and outdated code has been removed. The Visual Studio solution has been reorganized to a plain and simple structure. And now the new build pipeline is considerably faster and more straightforward. The new layout is easier to understand and faster to build. There is one more new feature that has been introduced that is rollback of unfinished and experimental features. The features from the past releases which were incomplete or in experimental stage, they have been removed. With the version 15.1, DevExpress has addressed some major issues from the ASP.NET Ajax Control Toolkit. Restructure and cleaning up the toolkit was just the starting point to fix many of the bugs. They have fixed almost 900 bugs which was there in Ajax Toolkit, which was a great news for the people. In order to get started, download the Ajax Control Toolkit from ajaxcontroltoolkit.portlex.com releases views 612416 now let us try to download and install the toolkit so let me open the chrome i just opened the browser and i typed in the url click on the downloads and download the ajax control toolkit version 15.1 once the download is completed, just click on the install to start installing this. Let me open the visualstudio.net. We can understand there is no Ajax control toolkit has been available on our toolbox. Now let me just try to install this thing. We need to close all the opened visualstudio.net to start working with this. So I'm just closing this thing. Let us install it. I accept this thing. We can just try to observe it. It has been powered by DevExpress. Now the ASP.NET Ajax toolkit is maintained by DevExpress. Just click on finish. It opens the toolkit information. Now let me just try to once again open my Visual Studio.NET. We can observe Ajax control toolkit 15.1 has been added automatically soon after the installation. If you like my videos, please make sure that you subscribe my YouTube channel, Shaker Online for you. It encourages me to produce more videos. If you have any queries or for training requirements for corporates or consultants, do reach me at my mail ID, shakeronline for you at gmail.com or you can reach me to my mobile 90109-21619 or double nine five one eight nine zero two four one thanks for watching this video